The next question that we're going to revise is under working backwards. All right, so let's go through this question, okay? Roy and Susan have a total of 128 sweets. Susan gave one third of a sweets to Roy. Roy then gave one fifth of his total sweets to Susan. In the end, each of them had the same number of sweets. How many sweets did Susan have at first? All right, so how do we know this question falls under working backwards? Okay, that's because you can actually find the number of switch each of them have in the end. Okay, you simply take 1 to 8 divided by 2. Do you know why? Right, because when Susan gives to Roy and Roy gives back to Susan, does the total change? No, it doesn't, right? They are basically just transferring to one another. Okay, since the total doesn't change, right, the total will remain at 128. And since each of them have the same number of sweets in the end, you simply take 1, 2, 8, divided by 2, you get 64. Alright, it means that each of them had 64 in the end. And you need to work backwards to find the number of sweets each of them have at first. Can you understand? Alright, so now let's apply working backwards concept. Okay, so when you work backwards, you must work from here, then back to here. Makes sense, right? Because they are working backwards, okay? So from here, Go to here, then go to here. Okay, now, this 64 sweets for Roy is after Roy gave one fifth of his sweets to Susan. My question to you is, if Roy gave away one fifth, what fraction of his sweets does he have left? The answer is four fifth. Make sense? Right, you simply take one minus one fifth, you get four fifth. In other words, this 64 over here represents four fifth of his sweets. So to work backwards, you got to divide by 4 times 5, you will get 80 sweets. Alright, so in other words, before Roy give one fifth of his sweets to Susan, he will have 80 sweets. Okay, now can you find Susan? You can, right? Okay, you simply take 1, 2, 8, minus 80. Okay, remember, right, the total doesn't change. So when you take 1, 2, 8, minus 80, you get 48. Alright, and now you're going to work backwards for Susan, okay? Susan gave away one third of her sweets. So when Susan gave one third, she'll be left with two third. Alright, you take one minus one third, you get two third. So how do we work backwards? You take 48 divided by two times three. Okay, you'll get 72 sweets for Susan. Okay, so this will stand for the number of sweets that Susan have at first. Okay, which is uh, 3 over 3, right? 3 over 3 means the total sweets at first. And to find the sweets of Roy at first, you take 1, 2, 8, minus 72, okay, you get 56. Alright, so these will be the number of sweets that Susan have at first and Roy have at first. The question asks for the sweets that Susan have at first, so the answer will be simply 72 sweets.